Hello machines and machine freaks. I got sick. The last two days have been terrible for me. This is the video that I filmed two days ago though, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. Uh, <coughs> my throat. I couldn't do an intro without coughing. What the heck? We got fan mail on the Jeep. We got a door we gotta work on. We actually have some bad news on the door. Yesterday you saw that I put wood on it. Today we are taking that wood off. We're also cutting this thing in half. But uh, that's the bad news. The good news is we're getting it powder coated today. Well, eventually, we're, we're taking it to the powder coating place. Jay versus is heavy. I got the wood off the frame. However, the powder coating place only allows the dimensions of the uh, piece that they're working on to be five foot four by 12 foot long. So this isn't 12 feet long. However, it's more than five foot four long or wide, however you want to label that. So what I have to do is actually cut my brand new frame that I've rigged together in half so that this place will powder coat it. I, I'm sure I can find another place. However, I like these guys and there's no big deal here. I mean, we have plenty of welders around. We have one there and we have one there. Fusing this thing together is not a problem at all. However, I do want to ask him a couple questions while I'm there, like changing colors, um, do, doing multicolors. Like say you wanted a black set of rims. Say you wanted these rims to be black, but then also have some red on them. What, what's the process on that? I'm going to ask him about stuff like that. I'm also going to say, hey, you know what? We cut this. Now I don't want to have this powder coated all the way to the edge of the two edges because you know when you make a cut, you'll have an edge on this side, you'll have an edge on this side. You know, what can we do so that this stays bare so when I weld it, I'm not breathing in all those fumes. So basically we have two bare surfaces, we can re-weld and then we'll just spot paint. So I kind of want to have a learning lesson today. I also want to open up some fan mail. <laughs> Dear Dalton, I thought... <coughs> I'm not sick, I swear, it's just my, my throat hurts. I thought these books would come into use. I have been watching for a while now, from the Moto Vlogs to present. I love watching your videos of you fixing up your four-wheelers crush and now your Jeep. I'm on my third Wrangler and I would like to offer you some help if you need it. And then he left his email. Thank you, Josh, very much for both the Jeep manual and the Duramax manual. That, that was very kind of you. People must think I like to read. Hi, Dalton. I am a big fan of your channel and pumped to see the new Jeep TJ project. I run CSEoffroad.com, a small family owned Jeep parts shop in New York. We are Jeep people and would love to, the opportunity to get you some parts for your build. Welcome to the Jeep family. Thanks again, Gene D. And then the contact info is at the bottom. Man, I, I swear I'm not sick. I just I just want to make videos. Thank you for the literature, you guys. It's kind of cool after I get like something new that is a huge hassle like the BMW, Crush, now the Jeep, that people actually want to help you with it. It's kind of nice. There are some good people out there. And a lot of them are subscribed to 3D Machines. <laughs> powder coating place right now I'm about to go inside and talk to the guy uh, what you guys didn't see was I cleaned all that with a flap desk um, so that there's no like spatter and it's, it's a lot more smooth it's a lot more clean take all that mill scale off so that uh, there's no like rust trapped in there so now I'm gonna go in there see what he has to say see if these things are doable now that we cut them in half we should we should have the green flag I dropped off the door I went to my buddy's house we went four wheeling for a little bit now I'm going through Amish country in just a second I've never been to an Am Amish store, uh, but these guys sell like a whole bunch of steel. They do a whole bunch of building and stuff. Uh, there's like 10 of them right next to each other. Now, I'm gonna stop at the one that they just opened, check it out, see what they have to offer. I've never been in one, and I just kind of feel like stopping them. It's just interesting. I'm sorry if today's video is a little shorter than the other videos. I just, my throat hurts so freaking bad, but that's not a good enough excuse for me not to make a video. The Amish thing was, was the shop was really cool. The guy that was 
was running the place was really awesome. He even gave me a tour of his shop and stuff, which is really, really cool, and how they do things because they don't use electricity. They gotta have an engine on everything, so every little tool that they have has like this little Honda engine on it. It's, it's awesome. I'm getting ready to put Crush on the trailer. Now that's the reason why I was up at that Amish place. I was getting siding for the rear door. Well, I guess I was inquiring about the siding of the ramp door that I'm building. So that place sells groove steel and then it sells flat steel. I think I'm gonna go with flat and they offer like 20 different colors. I was thinking off-white because I think that's what the trailer currently is. But if they have like orange or, or black or gray, maybe I'll go with something like that. If you have any ideas that you think would look for you fresh, leave me in the comment section below. I'd greatly appreciate it. We got some parts for Crush, so let's get him to the warehouse ASAP. Now that the Jeep is out of the way, thanks to Crush, I have some parts I have to replace on Crush. As you guys saw in the first race, I did break his rear swing arm end links. This thing right here, that's supposed to be attached to that. Well, these are not the originals. These are an aftermarket thing. They were actually a little bit more scrawny than what they appeared to be on their picture. And then this one over here is bent, and it's actually loose, I guess. So one thing I realized while I was taking this thing apart was one, yeah, it's broken. Two, um, it was assembled wrong or put on the machine wrong. Um, it, it was just wrong. Now I'm not gonna point any fingers, but it sure wasn't me. I brought a scale up here because I wanted to show you the difference in, in quality and the difference in possible durability. New one, old one. Well, 3D machines, how much more beefy is it? Well, I will tell you in just a second. Let's weigh this one up. We will do it in, since we are in America, we will do it by pounds. I changed my mind. We are not doing it by pounds. We will do it by ounces. Ounces. The whole assembly together is 10.1 ounces. And that's with hardware and everything else on it. Let's see what just this thing weighs. Nine. Now each one of these things is gonna need one of those. This kit didn't come with a washer, so we can't be biased here, so we will not put that on the scale. So now our new one weighs 16.9 ounces. We're looking at about 70% improvement on strength value, at least weight wise. So these end links being broken made the machine feel like it was riding on a cloud. On the trails it felt really, really good until you had to make a turn. Then it was like you were riding a lightning storm. The rear end did not want to respond to the front end at all, which caused steering situations and uh, rollover situations. And luckily we didn't roll it over, but still, it was sketchy. And just like that, our old one's off and our new one's ready to be put on. Can you see the difference in size? On this girl, size matters. Just like that, those monsters are installed. They're looking strong, they're looking beefy, and they're looking mighty froggy fresh. Now it's gonna be a little less fun turning. I mean, more safe to turn. That'll get rid of our wishy-washiness in the rear end. Okay, machines and machine freaks, that is going to do it for this 3D Machines production. My throat is killing me. One piece of advice, don't get sick. Stay froggy fresh. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Wish me some luck, wish me some health. See ya. Uh.